Hey, Renee, check out this new tech Honda's talking about putting on the Goldwing. Oh, yeah, I remember this video. It came out like six years ago. But hey, now they're talking about putting different tech on the Honda Goldwing. Let's check it out. <laughs> So it seems from what I've been checking out in the media that these patent drawings have been leaked from Honda that seem to have to do with the next generation Goldwing. Apparently there's a self-balancing system, you know, when you're walking the bike that either brings the weight closer to or away from the rider who's walking the bike so you don't drop it. Yeah, honestly, I can't think of a better bike to put this technology on than the Goldwing. Apparently, this new tech builds further upon what they called riding assist. So, you know, when we get back from riding on the Goldwing, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, you know, it's time to put it in the garage. You know how, like, I never want to walk it in and I always have an excuse and make you... You always disappear when I it's always time disappear. to put the bike away. Right, when it's time to put the bike <laughs> away. Because I am afraid of dropping this you know, 900 pound, beautiful, mm -hmm. you know, touring motorcycle. Yeah, makes... So, so I'm actually kind of excited with what they're proposing here. The idea that you've got this like, you know, computer, like, you know, moving the weight further from or closer to you, depending on what's needed. So you can walk the bike and not drop the bike. You know what? No matter what, I don't feel 100% comfortable walking a 950-pound bike around. You look it, way more confident than I do. <laughs> well, it's just, you know, if you have a little gyro that's doing all the work for you and all you have to do is stand there and put your hand on it, as, as you know, with a DCT, you push the little walk button and it, it goes. Right, yeah, you, you can have to go do forward, anything. you can go backward. But yeah. we, we have the manual. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know if it would work for the manual, but, you know, at least 80% uh, of the Goldwings made We'll have this with the DCT, and they'll be loving it. Right on, right on. But all that being said, I mean, you know, we've seen patents before. We've seen the drawings. We've seen the concepts demonstrated that, you know, never really make it to production. But I have a feeling this is going to come out, you know, relatively soon. What do you think? So, you know, what would be really cool is if this came out on the 50th anniversary Goldwing. That's right. You know, we're coming up against this kind of like legacy, huge anniversary. And I feel like, I mean, since 2018 and up, there really just hasn't been that much of major development. I mean, we got a little bit more trunk room and I love that. That was a good thing. Right? Yeah, there's some software updates, you know. <laughs> That's about it, really. Right, so I don't know, maybe you're right. Maybe this is all part of some big plan. I mean, because otherwise it just helps guys like this, you know, go super slow in a parking lot around some orange cones. And, you know, don't get me wrong. Those guys have mad skills, right? Yeah. I love it. But, you know, I'd like to see something like this, you know, help somebody. But is it making riding, is a smart bike making riding more dumb? No, I don't think so. I think this is a good thing to have. If you've dropped your bike even once, you definitely wish you had something like this. <laughs> I know, but it's so funny how the comments blow up. And when something like this comes out, you know, it's very divided. It's a very polarizing topic for people. I agree. But there's dumber things on motorcycles that you could uh... see. I mean, yeah, like me, right? I mean, I've got my motorcycle license. Go figure. <laughs> So, hey, everybody, how many people are excited about this new tech and the possibility of it being on the new Goldwing? Sounds like an awesome idea to me. Right. If you're looking forward to a better way to walk your bike, leave a comment. Let us know what you're thinking. We're really curious. Like I said, stuff like this can be pretty polarizing. Okay, catch you next time. Bye, everyone.